Warning, chlorine is extremely dangerous. This experiment should only be done in a well-ventilated area. Hello everyone, welcome to my lab. Today we're going to make some sodium hypochlorite pentahydrate crystals. Sodium hypochlorite is the oldest and one of the most important chlorine-based bleach. The synthesis looks quite straightforward. Only two starting materials, sodium hydroxide and chlorine. Simply mix them together and filter out the sodium chloride. Recrystallize and we got some sodium hypochlorite pentahydrate crystals. Here's the setup. We have a three neck rum bottom flask with some trichloroisocyanuric acid or TCCA powder. In the pressure equalized addition funnel, we have concentrated hydrochloric acid which reacts with TCCA to produce chlorine. The glass stir rod can stir the mixture during the reaction. Make sure all the TCCA powder is reacted. The chlorine gas goes through the pipe here and reacts with concentrated sodium hydroxide solution to form our product. The unreacted chlorine gas goes here and quenched by solid sodium hydroxide in this brown bottle. Let's get started. Hydrochloric acid is added and some greenish yellow chlorine gas is coming out. In the Erlenmeyer flask, we can see some white precipitate forming. Sodium chloride has good solubility in water, but in concentrated sodium hydroxide, its solubility is so poor that the precipitate forms almost immediately when the reaction starts. After a few minutes, the mixture turns into a slurry and gets thicker and thicker. I use my larger stir bar so it worked just fine. The temperature should be kept under 25C so I set up a simple ice bath. After all of the hydrochloric acid is added, the slurry is poured into a funnel and vacuum filtrated. Filter paper should be avoided since the concentrated hypochlorite reacts with paper. White solid in the funnel is our byproduct, sodium chloride. The liquid part is what we want and I put it in the fridge. A couple days later, lots of crystals form in the flask. After the vacuum filtration, we have some nice greenish yellow crystals, sodium hypochlorite pentahydrate. The melting point is about 25 degrees Celsius. Liquid bleach smells terrible, but the pure crystal is almost odorless. It's pretty interesting that hypochlorite was found in the 18th century, and the crystal form was industrially available in 2013. Probably because of the storage and the cost. The pentahydrate has to be kept in the fridge. It will decompose at room temperature. And for most purposes, sodium hypochlorite doesn't need to be as concentrated as a form of crystal. Let some sodium chloride and sodium hydroxide in the bleach solution is much cheaper. The tricky part of the synthesis is that you can't drive the reaction to completion because our product is highly concentrated sodium hypochlorite solution. It can only exist in high pH environment. If the chlorine gas consumes all the sodium hydroxide, the pH drops and the hypochlorite will disproportionate into chlorates and chlorides very fast and you'll have a crystalline clear filtrate and get no crystals. I've tried using titration to exactly know the amount of TCCA and sodium hydroxide and stop the reaction just before completion, but it didn't work well because not all the chlorine is reacted. If too much sodium hydroxide is left, the slurry will be extremely difficult to filter and no pentahydrate crystals will form. So I ended up adding 5 molar percent of TCCA every time, take a little bit of slurry out and check it until significant amounts of crystals formed. Weight and calculate the total mass of the flask might also be a good method for this. Measuring the pH is also an option if you have a good pH meter that can work at strongly alkaline conditions. That's all for today, thanks for watching.